Hello everyone, welcome to Stack Developers YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to install Laravel 10. Okay, so uh, there are three steps to install Laravel 10. First two steps we have already taken in the last video. If you have seen that we have able to install the XAM and we able to install the Composer. If you have not seen that video, then you can see uh, you can see that link at the top right side. Okay, you can just watch that video to install XAMPP as well as the Composer. Okay, I am going to tell you once again briefly that how to install the XAMPP and, and Composer for the Windows. See, we are going to install Laravel 10 for our Windows uh, operating system and I am going to show you that I am having the Windows 11. I am going to show you here right now. I will go to my uh, system and here you can see it's the 11th uh, windows 11 is here windows 11 home single language okay so it's the windows 11 home and you can see it's having the 8 gb ram okay so see the recommender uh, is you must have uh, windows 8 or windows 10 or windows 11 if you are installing in your windows operating system then you must have at least windows 8 uh, you may uh, have issues for the Windows 7 or Windows XP, so it's better if you are having the Windows 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11, okay, for installing Laravel 10, okay, so, see, first step, uh, we are going to install the XAMPP or WAMP server, I'm going to tell you that how to install the XAMPP or WAMP server once again, otherwise you can watch that video, I have already given you the link, I'm going to tell you once again, Okay, you can search install XAMPP here and you can open uh, this ApacheFriends.org website and can click on this download XAMPP. Okay, uh, so once you will click on uh, here and you can see this uh, screen and you can install the latest version. Go for the latest version as Laravel 10 requires the PHP 8.1 but you must go for at least PHP 8.2 because uh, whenever it's upgraded to Laravel 11 uh, the minimum requirement is uh, PHP 8.2 minimum requirement for Laravel 11 so uh, you must go for Laravel uh, see you must go for the latest version okay you can install 64 bit okay if your windows port 64 bit but for 32 bit as well it will it will work fine okay uh, but 64 bit is recommended okay so if you are having the windows windows 8 windows 10 or windows 11 then you can go for this version if you want to install the laravel 10 i have already installed it you can see in my last video in that video that i have already provided you the link uh, you can simply check that okay so see if you are having, having the linux then you, again you must go for this version latest version and if you are having the mac operating system then you must go for the latest version in this as well that supports php 8.2 okay so we have already installed this one you can just simply download it and install it in your windows you can install anywhere and i have already installed it in my I'm going to see in my E drive, I have already installed it. I'm going to run it straight away. Okay. So, uh, I will see that uh, it's running. It must be running fine. Okay. You can see here after installing, you can just simply go inside and you can run it like this. Okay. Start both Apache as well as the MySQL. Okay. So, after that, uh, we can simply open and we can check here uh, that it supports uh, php 8.2 or not okay at least php 8.1 is required sorry so i'm spelling local host okay so i'm going to see here and uh, you can see the version here uh, php info you can click on php info and you can check php version 8.2.0 so it is fine okay you must have at least php 8.1 and it is uh, having php 8.2 so it is perfect okay so we have already installed XAMPP and you can uh, follow that video to install the XAMPP otherwise you can simply download and install it okay so i have installed it in my e drive you have seen and uh, after that you need to install the composer next step is to install the composer okay so for installing the composer uh, we can open that website as well install composer you can search install composer uh, so you can open this website uh, getcomposer.org okay you can simply open this website click here or you can also click here okay so it has been opened and you can straight away download and run composer setup okay you can download this one 
see this one I have also explained in that video in the last video okay you just uh, require to uh, check that video in that we have already installed the ZAMP as well as the composer and we are ready to install the Laravel 10 okay so briefly I am telling you these things as well so that uh, you can able to follow uh, these steps so we able to install it and now we are going to click on this one okay so so we are going to uh, install for all users we are going to click here install for all users and click on yes uh, then we can also check the developer mode and click on next okay and here uh, see we need to uh, we need to decide that where we want to install the composer okay uh, we can install in the uh, e drive as well where we are already having the zamp okay see here we are already having the composer but i am uh, reinstalling it just to tell you just to explain it but uh, for installing the zamp it will take a lot of time that i have already installed it already uh, shown you that how to install the zamp so but i'm installing this uh, installing the composer because it will take less time okay so i just will uh, do like this and see we need to set the path path here uh, will come where uh, you have the zamp folder okay so here it's auto selected uh, but if it, it's not selected then you just uh, require to go inside your XAMPP folder then you are required to go inside the PHP after that you just require to uh, select this php.exe okay so then you can click on next and see it will take just few seconds to install the composer on your system okay so you just connect the XAMPP with the composer so that you can run the uh, run the commands on on the composer uh, with the help of the composer like installing the laravel 10 uh, that we are going to do with the composer and composer also helps us to install the packages okay that we require to run our projects so composer is mandatory to install to uh, to, uh, to further install laravel 10 and other packages okay So after installing the composer you can just simply check here okay uh, so you can click on shell and you can check here uh, by installing the composer uh, and here you can check the composer has been installed okay and uh, you can check its version as well you are simply required to do like this and it will tell you the composer version like the composer version is 2.5.1 okay so we are ready to install the laravel 10 now okay so if you have already installed the zap as, as well as the composer then we are ready to install the laravel 10 okay so i'm going to install the laravel 10 i'm going to uh, uh, see search here uh, laravel.com I, I can open the laravel.com website straight away okay so i will open this website laravel.com okay so after opening this website you can see uh, you can click on this documentation and here you can see now it is showing the laravel 10 directly it is going to the laravel 10 page and here uh, after moving down this step remains the same you can just copy this link and uh, you can run uh, in your htdocs folder okay so i'm going to run in my htdocs folder want to do it like this and okay so i'm going to run in my e drive zam and st docs inside st docs i'm going to run this one right click okay you can open in terminal you can do it like this open in terminal or you can uh, simply uh, 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 do that with the command prompt as well okay so it's your wish okay so i can simply copy this command here and here the project name will come we will remove the example app and we'll write here laravel 10 project okay laravel 10 project okay your project name will come here and just press enter and then the laravel 10 installation will start working you can see if this issue comes then uh, there is the solution uh, we need to uh, make this uh, uh, work in php.ini file we need to update okay uh, so for that i'm going to stop here uh, both uh, mysql as well as apache and we'll open the php.ini file i will go inside my xamp folder then php uh, then 
or will open php.ini okay this one uh, so I will simply open the php.ini file uh, will search for extension equal to zip and will replace it to extension uh, C the semicolon I will remove uh, before extension equal to zip okay so I'm going to follow this step I'm going to click here and will control F search for extension uh, it's equal to zip here okay sorry extension equal to zip and here you can see the semicolon I'm going to remove the semicolon and will save this file and you can see our laravel 10 is installing now okay so finally we able to install the laravel 10 we able to start installing the laravel 10 now okay so it will take some time to install laravel 10 once the laravel 10 gets installed we will soon start the new project in laravel 10 Okay, so uh, don't forget to subscribe the Stack Developers YouTube channel in which we are going to start the new project in Laravel 10. Okay. See, it's installing all the required packages. 68 package suggestions were added by new dependencies. So you can see it has been installed now we can go inside that folder uh, we have installed uh, we have see I'm going to check the project name that we have given and we have given it Laravel 10 okay so uh, I will go down and I will uh, go inside the folder Laravel 10 folder okay CD Laravel 10 okay so now i'm going to run the php artisan serve php artisan serve and we'll see that if uh, actually the laravel 10 uh, has been installed or not oh i'm going to run 127001 8000 and we're going to see now and see it's the laravel 10 home screen and you can see here laravel 10 it's in php 8.2 and you can see here the laravel 10 version laravel 10 okay so it is having the documentation laracast laravel news and web ecosystem okay so uh, we can see the screen of laravel 10 now and we can also verify its version if you want to verify its version you can simply go inside that folder cdst docs uh, then uh, Sorry, CDZ and SD Docs and go inside Laravel 10 folder and here we are going to check its Laravel version, PHP Artisan version. Okay, so it will show you the version of Laravel and it's the Laravel Framework 10.0.0. Okay, so for installing the Laravel 10, I have taken the few basic steps. I have installed the ZAMP. I have installed the composer and uh, there are few of the issues come at my end that I have resolved and I want to tell you that how I resolved see first of all uh, I need to uh, enable the zip extension it it's asked me to enable the zip extensions and for that uh, I have gone in the php.ini file uh, where I have enabled that that zip extension I want to tell you that I just go uh, in zap and php if that error comes to you only then you are required to do otherwise there is no requirement and go here see zamp php and go in php.ini file and here you can search for that extension equal to zip okay you can search here and remove the semicolon in front you can see there is no semicolon in front okay and after that close it okay after that save it save it and then you uh, can run once again you need to stop these two uh, once you up, uh, up, upgrade this php.ini file you, then you need to run it again okay so after that uh, the error comes once again okay so so when the error comes then uh, what I have done I have just uh, 
uh, see clear the composer here I have seen one more command here and I have just composer clear catch I have run this command okay I have run this command just to uh, composer clear catch because it uh, uh, it, it takes something from the cache and it is not working laravel uh, we not able to install the laravel 10 because of this error just you need to run this one then uh, you can simply install the laravel 10 like we have done at our end okay so uh, you you can either use you can shell you can also use the command prompt or you can also use the terminal in windows 11 okay so you can follow these steps to install the laravel uh, 10 and we are soon going to uh, uh, going to start new project in laravel 10 okay then stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye